Hello, and welcome to LSET Tech Byte. Today, we're diving into the world of web development, specifically focusing on creating a simple file upload feature using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good grasp of how to implement file uploading functionality into your web project. Let's start by breaking down the HTML structure of our project. As you can see, we have a basic HTML file with the necessary elements to create our file uploader. We have a header section labeled File Uploader, a form element, and two sections, one for displaying the upload progress and another for displaying uploaded files. The form element contains an input field of type file, which is hidden from view. This input field will be used to select files from the user's device. Now we link our external style sheets for consistent styling across browsers. You may have noticed that we're using font awesome icons to enhance the visual experience. We've included the font awesome library via ACDN link, allowing us to easily incorporate icons like the upload icon and checkmark icon throughout our project. We also have an icon and a paragraph prompting the user to browse for files to upload. Now we have two section class element progress area and upload area. Lastly, we have a script tag at the bottom of our HTML file linking to a JavaScript file called script.js in this JavaScript file. We'll write the logic to handle file uploads and display upload progress. Let's move on to the CSS part to design our file uploader. In this video, we'll be delving into the styling aspects using CSS to enhance the appearance of our file upload feature. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a visually appealing file uploader ready to integrate with your web project. We're setting some global styles to ensure a consistent layout across different browsers. This includes resetting margins, paddings, and ensuring the box model behaves as expected. Additionally, we're specifying Arial Helvetica Sans Serif as our default font family for the entire project. Moving on to the body section, we have very dark gray color background. The wrapper class styles our main container for the file uploader. It sets the width, background color, border radius, padding, and box shadow to give it a clean and polished appearance. Within the wrapper, we have a header section labeled File Uploader. We've styled this header with a specific color, font size, and font weight to make it stand out as the title of our uploader. Moving to the form styling, we're customizing the appearance of our file upload area. We've set the height, border, cursor, and border radius to create a visually distinct area where users can drop their files or click to browse for files. Inside the form, we have an icon and a paragraph prompting users to browse for files. We've styled these elements with specific colors, font sizes, and margins to make them visually appealing and intuitive for users. We have sections for displaying upload progress and uploaded files. These sections are styled with background colors, padding, border radius, and list style properties to provide a clear visual separation and structure. The progress area displays upload progress with a progress bar. We've styled the progress bar with appropriate colors and dimensions to indicate the current upload status visually. Finally, the uploaded area displays successfully uploaded files. We've styled this area to allow scrolling if there are many files and customized the appearance of file details for better readability. Let's move on to the JavaScript part to give functionality to our file uploader. In this video, we'll be diving into the JavaScript code to enable users to upload files and track the upload progress. We start by selecting various elements from our HTML document using document.querySelector. This include form, file input, progress area, and upload area. Then we add an event listener to the form so when it's clicked, it triggers a click event on the file input, allowing users to select files. Next, we define the behavior when a file is selected using the file input field. When a file is chosen, we extract its name and check if it exceeds 12 characters. If it does, we truncate the name and append an ellipsis to maintain readability. The upload file function is responsible for handling the file upload process. We create a new XML HTTP request object to handle the HTTP request we set the method to POST and specify the URL to which the request will be sent, which in this case is PHP or upload.php.
We add an event listener to track the upload progress. As the file uploads, this event listener updates the progress bar dynamically, displaying the percentage of the file uploaded. We calculate the file size in kilobytes or megabytes and update the UI accordingly. We dynamically update the HTML content within the progress area element to display the upload progress. Once the file upload is complete, we replace the progress information with a confirmation message indicating that the file has been successfully uploaded. We create a new form data object passing the form element as an argument. This object collects all the form data including the selected file to be sent with the HTTP request. Finally, we send the form data using the send method of the XML HTTP request object, initiating the file upload process. That wraps up the JavaScript code for our file uploader. Now let's dive into PHP part of this tutorial. In this line, we're taking the name of the uploaded file from the files array and storing it in a variable called file name. The files array is a super global array in PHP that holds information about files uploaded via an HTML form. Next, we're grabbing the temporary name of the file that was uploaded. When a file is uploaded, PHP stores it temporarily on the server. The temporary file name is stored in the file's TMP name element. We save this temporary name in the TMP name variable. Here, we're creating a new name for the file by concatenating the current time in seconds since the Unix epoch with the original file name. The time function returns the current time in seconds, and we append the original file name to ensure the new file name is unique. This new name is stored in the file upname variable. Finally, we're moving the file from its temporary location to a permanent location on the server. The move uploaded file function takes two arguments. The first is the temporary file name, and the second is the destination path where we want to save the file. Here, we're moving the file to a directory called files and using the unique name we created earlier. Now that wraps up for this video, we successfully created our file upload feature using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. Now let's see how it works. All right, our file uploader is fully functional. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more web development tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.